Hey guys and welcome to a video I've put off for months now. It's a tier list covering the skilling pets from worst to best. Now I initially did this tier list with a bunch of friends just like the skilling capes tier list but because that got so many dislikes I ultimately ended up not uploading that video. However I decided to do this tier list by myself instead and give you my opinion on what I think are the best looking and worst looking skilling pets in the game. Of course people will disagree with me in this video which is why I try to be as neutral as possible but when you're comparing something based on looks obviously everything is going to be opinion based. For those wondering I will be including footage of every single skilling pet in this video so when you're ready grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax and enjoy. So, to start off, we have Ace the Hunter Pet. Now, Ace the Hunter Pet is one of my favorites. However, there are similar pets you can obtain in-game through Premier Club tokens or, I think, Solomons uh, that look very similar and have similar animations. So, I'm going to go ahead and put an A tier. I'll show you some footage of it on screen and the pets it looks similar to to give you an idea. Uh, that's probably the reason I won't put an S tier. And, after all, it is just a bird. There isn't that much special about it. It isn't something super fantasy, crazy, unique kind of thing. Next up, however, we have Archie, the newest skilling pet in the game because archaeology is the newest skill. I like Archie a lot because he has a neutral-ish color and his emote is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and put him in... Ooh, I think S tier is nice, but it's like... It's not one of my favorite pets, so it's kind of... I guess I'm going to put it in S tier just for now. Okay, Baba Yaga's house, the construction pet. Honestly, it's a really cool looking pet, but I don't think the pet is cool or amazing, if that makes sense. It does, there's nothing like it really, it's just a small version of Baba Yaga's house. I'm going to go ahead and put it in B tier. I'm pretty neutral about this pet. It's nothing crazy, but you know. As for Bernie, the fire making pet, it does have particles, but it doesn't look that cool. I'm going to put it in C tier. I would put... Wait, where's the other one? Woody? Woody's probably one of the worst looking pets because the model is just, you know, he's, he's a wooden boy. I don't really like him a lot. I know there are people that specifically like Woody and Bernie a lot. So I'm going to put Woody in D tier and Bernie in C tier because he does have particles. Next up, we have Brains, the farming pet. Now, this is a decent looking pet, but I believe the Halloween pet, the Scarecrow from... 2018 or something looks way better and is basically the same pet. Um, I'll show you some footage on screen again. So I'm going to go ahead and put him into D tier behind Woody because I personally do not like this pet very much. I have it myself, but it's just, nah. Bubbles the fishing pet is by far one of my favorite skilling pets in the game. It has the bubble. It, it just, it floats around. It's a floating fish. It's a floating angler fish, if I'm correct. And... Wow, just this has to be S tier in my opinion. Above Archie. I like this pet a lot. It's one of the pets I'd like to get, but I can't be bothered training fishing beyond 99 really. Next up, we have Crabba, the Slayer pet. And although it's a flying gargoyle, ah, yes, as if people didn't know gargoyles could fly. Nice detail there, Protox. The pet itself, I don't know, it's kind of... For a Slayer pet, it seems kind of disappointing. They could have done so much more. The co-op Slayer pets are like the, the Strike Worms and stuff. They're really cool. I wish we could have gotten something a little more high level. Maybe a Gemstone Dragon as a pet, even though the pets were released, I think, before Gemstone Dragons. I could be wrong. I don't really remember, but um, it could have been a Dragon of some sort, and I would have liked it a lot more. The Gargoyle is okay. It's pretty flappy, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it in B tier. Now, Dojo Mojo is the agility monkey. A lot of people like Dojo Mojo. I do not. I'm sorry, guys. I, um... It's a monkey. Now, I know we're all humans and we're basically monkeys ourselves, but the pet itself, it, um... It does have a good model, but it's like... I think I might trigger a lot of people with this one, but, um... He's not really... How do you say it? Interesting for a fantasy MMORPG. If that makes sense. Though I couldn't see what else they could have used for the model. You know, it does fit with the agility skill. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in uh, low C tier. 
Then we have Flo, the Fletching Pet. And, you know, it's just a floating feather, but uh, I like this one a lot. I wish I got Flo from training 1 to 99 Fletching. I, uh, Flo is S tier. Really good pet. I did actually attempt to train a little more Fletching beyond 99 to try and get this pet, but uh, I had no luck. Next up, we have Jemmy. Now, Jemmy is an alright pet. It's the mining pet. I do like it, but I don't think it's very, very, you know, spectacular. It doesn't blow your mind when you see it in-game. Uh, I'd say it's um, B tier. We then have Ghostly. And I'm going to go ahead and grab Shamani, aka the summoning pet. So we have the prey and summoning pet together here. And... I think you guys know what I'm going to do. You might have seen Ghostly or Ghost Re in one of my Twitch emotes or my banner. If you've paid attention, you can see him on my YouTube banner. Ghostly is a very, very good pet. I like it so much because it just, it looks like a float. I don't know. It's, 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 there's something about Ghostly with his blue eyes that makes him very, very cute. And for that reason, I'm going to put him in... Mm, S tier, and I'm going to put him above Flo, and that's going to be a little bit bizarre for some people because Flo does have particles, but I like Ghostly a lot, personally. Now, Shimani is like Ghostly, but he or she is basically an ugly version of Ghostly. I don't like Shimani much. I got it at around 80 million summoning experience when going for 20, if I remember correctly, which, you know, it, t it took kind of long, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and put Shimani in C tier. Okay, this one is uh, a little scary. Dojo Mojo Dungeoneering Pet. It does look pretty cool. It's uh, it's a unique looking pet. But again, it's nothing. I don't know. It just doesn't blow me away for whatever reason. It doesn't. It doesn't. Hmm. Dojo Mojo is probably one of the most liked pets. I'm just going to assume the community likes Dojo Mojo a lot, but I'm going to put it in uh, C tier above Bernie. No, actually, I'm going to put it there, in between Dojo Mojo and Bernie. We then have Herbert the Herbal Pet. Now, Herbert reminds me a lot of those turtles that are swimming in the ocean in fantasy movies that have an island on their back. And he has a pretty cute face and walk animation. So I'm going to go ahead and put him in A tier. Then we have Kangali the Strength Pet. Now, I'm sure the Australians love this one, or they hate him, I'm, I'm not actually sure, because I think kangaroos are like a plague there, or like they, they, the population was like too high. <laughs> you know, it's a simple pet, it's, it's basically a kangaroo with um, punching gloves, but he does look really cool. The way he stands when he's idle looks really good. Malcolm reminds me of a mechanical mosquito. Yeah, that's going to go deep here. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, Malcolm is actually a pet I don't have myself either, even though I quite a lot of invention experience. It does fit with the skill. Maybe for that reason, actually, for, because it fits with the skill, I'm going to put it a little higher behind Dojo Mojo in C tier. Morty the Axolot. Morty has a cute face. It's a little small. He's a transparent Axolot, and he's really, really nice. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it top A tier or S tier. Difficult. Is it better than Flo? It's a little difficult. I think I'm going to put him in S tier as well. And Newton is, um, wow, Newton is, is very, very good. It's a Newt with an orb that changes runes. Oof, I'm going to put Newton over here. Newton is, wow. It took me 20 million experience beyond 200 mil magic at the abyss to achieve this pet or obtain this pet. And boy, it was worth it. Newton is a very, very good looking pet. I've had it out for the longest time out of all my pets, I think. We then have Ralph, the thieving pet. Um, looks really good. It's a little cute. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in top A tier. It's not quite S tier, but it is definitely one of the better looking pets in RuneScape 3. We then have Ramsey, the cooking pet, which uh, it's a goblin. Honestly, it looks a little stupid. I don't hate goblins, by the way, for any goblins watching from the house in Lumbridge, so please do not come knocking on my front door at night. Thank you. So, yeah, we're going to put Ramsey... Uh... Actually, Ramsey's, you know, Ramsey's pretty cool. We're going to put him upper B tier. I like him. Smithy. No, wait. Hold up. 
That's not Smithy. Let's move him around. That's, um, with Rookie. No, it's, it's Rookie. Okay, Rookie and Smithy. Well, um, these look good. I like them. Some people might not. They remind me of a golem. I think they are a golem. I'm going to put them right there in front of Baby Yaga's house. I like them. Sparky. Now, Sparky is the ranged pet. He's a squirrel with a crossbow and a Robin Hood's hat, and he will shoot you without hesitation. No cap. So, Sparky is... Oh, man, I, there's so many nests here. Sparky's really cute. Uh, I'm going to have to even put him in front Morty, I think. Now, we have Rue here. Now, Rue is the runecrafting pet, and... There's physically no other place I can put Rue apart from its own tier. Hold up, let me quickly... We're going to call this S plus tier, and Rue deserves to be there. I don't think there's anyone that will argue against me saying that Rue is by far the best looking skilling pet in RuneScape 3. It has particles, it has glowing wings, it's a cute little dragon. It is a dragon, right? Yeah, I think it's a dragon, yeah. And it's just... The color scheme is phenomenal. Okay, Sifu. Now, out of all the Cormac pets, I dislike Sifu the most, I think. Maybe Wallace as well, which is the next one. Um, for that reason, I'm going to put Sifu... ...about there. And Wallace is going to be there. Uh, that, you know, it's a quick decision, but I think they deserve to be in B tier. We then also have Willow, and Willow is basically another S tier pet. I like it just as much as Rue, but yeah, I'm going to actually put it this way. So, that is the list. Now, there's a lot of pets in S tier, and that's because I like a lot of the skilling pets. As you can see, there are not many skilling pets I dislike, apart from the ones in C and D tier, and even the ones I dislike are still cool pets to have out. So even if your only skilling pet is Woody, it's still better than no skilling pet at all. I hope I didn't trigger too many people and you guys still enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.